What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and today I'm very excited to share with you the new screw-on color filters from Light Painting Brushes. This is the simplest and easiest way to change the color of any tool that we make. These literally work with every single tool in the Light Painting Brushes lineup, and they could not be easier to change the color of any tool that we make. So let's just get right into it. So for instance, if you have a piece of plexiglass and you attach it to your universal connector, just like normal, right? It goes right in the universal. You take your light, you shine it in the other end. What do you got? You got a white light shining out the other end. This creates a wonderful effect, creates absolutely amazing images using white light. But sometimes, let's say I want to have a red piece of plexiglass. Well, easiest thing in the world to do is take one of the screw on color filters, put it on the end, Screw it on like this, put it back in your universal connector, turn your light on, and now you've got a red plexiglass. The screw on color filters work with all the tools. Let's say you've got your light whip here and you want it to be an orange one, you screw your orange filter on the end just like that, put it in, and now you've got an orange light whip. Let's say you got yourself a starter kit, right? And you, you got a white sword with your starter kit, but you want to have it a blue sword. You take your blue, color filter, screw it right on the end like that, put it in your universal connector, light it up, and now you got yourself a blue collapsible sword. So they work with all the different tools all the way across the line. They work with every single tool that we make. So they work with all the fiber optics, they work with all the plexiglass, they work with all the light riders, the light pens, the light whip, um, even the new color fiber optics. Now, um, you might be asking yourself, well, why don't I just get a white fiber optic and attach a green filter to it. That's a great idea. It creates a really cool effect, but it is different from the green fiber optic itself, and I'll show you why. When you attach a green filter to the white fiber optic, for instance, what's gonna happen is the entire thing is gonna be green. So you're gonna have green light shining the uh, length of the fibers, and then you're also gonna have green light here at the end of the fiber optics, as opposed to the standard green fiber optic here. Um, where you're gonna have green shining the length of the fiber and then you have white light coming out the end. My favorite color combination to do with the color fiber optics is the pink with the blue. This creates a really cool effect. So you just, you've got some blue light coming off the actual blue fibers themselves and then you've got pink off the end when you wave this thing around in front of the camera in the dark creates a really cool effect. So in the screw on color filter set, you're gonna get eight different colors. You got pink, purple, blue, orange, green, yellow, red, and white. You might be asking yourself, why the heck do I need a white one, right? Well, we put the white one in there because if you're like me, you like to create your own custom stuff. So with the white one, you can literally create your own filter. You can create your own color. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. I'm gonna make another video showing the different ways to make custom filters and ways to customize these things to make some other really cool effects. But just a simple way to do it is to take some Sharpie. That's what I did with this one, a Sharpie marker. I used two different colors. I used red and blue and uh, just colored in the actual end of the filter there. And what I like to use these with is specifically the black fiber optic. So I just take it, screw it onto the black fiber optic like that. And when you shine a light through it, it kind of creates a blue and red and purplish kind of thing happening here. And this, is, uh, this works really cool in uh, your portrait photography. I'll link you guys to a, a tutorial video on that down below too about the, using the black fiber optic and portrait light painting. It's a really cool and easy way to create a custom color, especially using the, uh, the black fiber optic. One other really cool thing about the screw on color filters is that they are also stackable. So you can create your own unique colors and hues of color and by stacking the filters together. One of my favorite color combinations to do is the red and orange together stacked on top of each other. Um, it creates a really cool color. See, this is just a standard red here, and then it's almost like this neon orangey color. So these are the screw-on color filters from Light Painting Brushes. They work with any tool that we make. You can stack them and make your own custom colors, and it could not be easier. So hope you guys enjoy this little video of how to use the screw-on color filters. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.